Well, we woke up to some troubling, disturbing, major issues. It's really one of those things where, as an RVer, it's one of your biggest fears, and um, it has happened. Yes. We have a major leak. Somewhere. Under our bedroom slide, and I don't know what water lines run through there. But on the outside, under the slide, oh, we'll show you here in a second, but under the slide, the skirting was sagging down. After we noticed that the wet spot next to the bed pulled some of the, the, the bed back, looked in the storage areas, it's wet. And moldy. And it's already started to grow mold. And some of the flooring is soft already, uh, which means we don't know how long this has been going on. Yeah. There's probably significant damage in the slide. Um, and under the skirting, like I said, it's, it was, I went you outside to look, sloshing. so I was pushing it up, and you can hear what there is standing water yeah. under our slide, right there where that plywood is, Yeah. Uh, there's water standing in there. Um, I'll take you into the bedroom, I'll show you where the wet spot is, where the moisture is coming through. Well, this is where we first noticed it. Leslie came over here to get into her closet this morning, and this spot right here was wet. Uh, I climbed down in there, and then this seam right here, where that cord is coming out, that is where the water was was coming through, and I, you can probably see where it's matted there on the carpet a little bit is where the where the wet spot is, and under the under the main bed storage, um, in here, under the main bed storage in here, there was uh, there was no no water damage or anything, but when you get back into the back back there we pulled the mattress back and then that storage the extra storage up in the top is where everything is wet and moldy and that's right underneath the slide so even when when all this is pulled out and, and the, the damage is assessed that we have to find a source yeah and get it fixed too um, so we're probably talking about having to take it in having to maybe stay in a hotel room. I don't know how long it would take. I don't know where we, we, we would be able to do this. We already have our itinerary planned out for months. All the way through June. Yeah, so I'm sure this is going to change it everything. It may deviate us. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, for now, we need to drill a hole, at least in the skirting, to let that water uh, come out. Right now, yeah. Um, just so that it doesn't get any worse, but I mean, a lot of the damage is already done. Man, I, I, I hate even talking about it. It's making me yeah. sick to my stomach. Um, because it's going to be... I just don't know what's going to happen from here. I don't know. I mean... And it sucks because we just figured out the air conditioner issue, which was a pain in the butt for yeah. a while. And you're like, okay, cool. Now everything's good. Back to normal. But This is significant. Um, we're out of warranty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, this is, I don't foresee this being an issue where it's just going to be a quick fix. The plywood in there, I'm sure, is going to have to be replaced. That means that slide is going to have to come out. Yeah. Like I said, I just don't know what's going to happen from here. It sounds like a very costly expense. All right. <laughs> I'm getting ready to do something I never thought I would do. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this slide. <laughs> this looks like the lowest lying area where most of the water is kind of hanging out, so... I'm going to drill a hole right here. I'm going to let this drain out. It's going to be a nice day today, so um, once it drains out, we'll probably leave the hole open, let it try to dry out a little bit, and then tomorrow we will seal this hole back up. Whew, here we go. Yeah, you can see it. God. At this rate, look at it, see? It'll oh, take yeah. forever to drain. It's dripping now. And it's, dirty. if you look at it, it's dirty, like green. Green water. Water. Like algae. So it's been, it's been growing stuff up there. And look how dirty that water is. That's nasty. All right, um, do a quick update on the current situation. We are supposed to be headed to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. But we're not. We are not. <laughs> um, I did drain, I think, most of the water out underneath the slide, but there is still some in there. 
the carpet on your side of the bed is still wet. Yeah. Um, we contacted Keystone. They set us up with a dealer down in Bartow, Florida. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> never even heard of Bartow, Florida until we started <laughs> until now. researching this. Yeah. But apparently, yeah, the dealer has a, a campground out there. We have to be in in the maintenance bay tomorrow morning at 8:30 a.m. Yeah. And so we are not supposed to leave here until tomorrow, but we decided we're going to leave today. Yeah. We'll do an overnight stay down there. That way we don't have to leave here at like... 7.15 we would have to leave. Yeah, and I'm not mm, yeah. doing that. Not so. feeling it. <laughs> um, so we'll go down there, we'll stay the night tonight, then we'll get into the bay tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, well they said that they, they think they can get it diagnosed in a day. In a day, yeah. And they'll uh, give it back. So we have to basically drop off the fifth wheel and kill the day yes. with scout with scout <laughs> i don't know what we're gonna do but uh we're gonna do something <laughs> we will um keep you updated along the way and hopefully uh this will be a quick deal i don't think it will be because <sighs> it's hitting right on thanksgiving weekend yeah. yeah we get there tomorrow which is a tuesday thanksgiving is thursday uh if they have to order any parts or anything it's probably gonna be the following week um, which would then cut into our plans to be over in Fort Myers Florida yes um, so we don't even have a plan because we can't we don't know when we're getting out of there so we yeah. don't even know where our next place to stay is gonna be yeah other than the, the RV park that's attached to the dealership yeah <laughs> <laughs> to be a first for us yeah we don't know um, what the cost is going to be we don't know um i mean we talked to keystone we're out of warranty so we don't know if or how much help they're going to provide um that's pretty obvious to me that the issues started before we were out of warranty yeah so i don't know we'll talk to them and see what we can work out hopefully they will do something for us yeah hopefully. but we'll keep you updated along the way so we are headed to Bartow, florida right now the damage has been assessed. <laughs> the verdict is in. Okay. What you got? Several voids in sealant and missing sealant around slide allowing water in. That sounds bad. Voids in sealant and missing sealant. So I don't know if missing sealant means there it looks like there it was sealant there and it's not there anymore because or it was of the water. Never there. Void means it just was never there. Yeah. Either way, we were missing some sealant on the slide. Or the amount of water that it was consuming ate away at the sealant. That could be a possibility too. So we have an assessment. They are going to have to replace the entire floor of the bedroom and the slide and the carpet. And it's going to be 18 hours of labor that's not counting that, the air conditioner to me the, that's not bad because i was in labor for 24 <laughs> hours and two minutes with my daughter so 18 is going to be a little easier to handle but it's going to be spread over several days it will it's be not going to be all in one <laughs> shot i wish it was 24 7 service in the meantime we are parked basically in a parking lot yeah. Next door to Camping World. Yeah. With 30 amp service and no sewer. Yeah. So every time we need to dump the tanks, we have to hook up to the truck. Mm, have to drive over to Camping World, dump it, come back, and put and it back. Set up. And. Sounds fun. 30 amp service doesn't sound that bad in November, December time frame, but folks, it's still in the 80s down here, here in Florida. <laughs> and. Uh, Running one AC just ain't gonna get her done really, and because yeah. of where we're situated in this parking lot, the sun's gonna be hitting on this side of the RV in the morning, and right over here, porch side in the afternoon, last worst in us part of the in day. the evening. Um, so we have sent the paperwork over to Keystone. We're waiting to see if they are gonna help us mm -hmm. with the cost of this. Um, all in all, all said and done. Um, about thirty-five hundred dollars. Yes. Mostly labor. Yeah. Yeah, supplies is really. They cheap said supplies is about five hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, but just the labor, the sheer time it takes, they're going to have to take the slide completely out yeah. and basically rebuild the bottom of the slide and the bedroom. Yeah. And so that's it. That sounds time consuming. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't sound fun to do either. Take Isn't that <laughs> and, and we're supposed to be in, in Fort Lauderdale. And today. After, after, yeah, today. Mm -hmm. After Fort Lauderdale, we're supposed to go to Fort Myers. This is likely going to eat into that because um, day after tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yeah. So this is terrible timing. So. Well, it's bad because they say you know, on average it takes about a week to hear back from the manufacturer. Yeah. And if the manufacturer wants to send the parts instead of getting the parts locally, then they have to wait for that to be sent. So that could delay even longer. Yeah. So and the, it's <laughs> just going to snowball. We're going to be here a while. Yeah. And it's not like we're stuck where there's lots of stuff to do. <laughs> we're in Bartow. We're in Bartow, Florida. <laughs> Dang on it. We have Legoland. Hey. Gosh darn it. We're, we're gonna, not going to go, but it's there. <laughs> we've been to a Legoland, though. <laughs> We could compare the two if we wanted to. Yeah, we'll still do some exploring around the area, whatever we can get to. Lakeland, Tampa is not too far away. Orlando is not too far away. Yeah, well, I mean, from. our family is only like an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes yeah. away. So, I mean, we can still, still go, go back. back into town and see family. Yeah. Um, but, hey, if, if Keystone doesn't cover it, look, it's going to be about 3500 bucks. Yeah. Chalked up to the wags. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see how that goes and how it's going to impact uh, future travels. Um we just don't know how long we're going to be here. So, yeah. so we're going to end it right here, this video anyway. And uh, we'll pick up another video to let you know all the shenanigans and how it's played out. Because we're still going to go explore. So between this video and that video, <laughs> we're still going to show you stuff that we're going to be able to go out and explore and do. Uh. But um, in, um, well, whenever it's done, we'll wrap that video up and we'll get it posted as soon as we can mm -hmm. to let you know. But until then, to be continued... And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.